sometimes I like to open the window and I can't see one oak tree. Well, it used to be a huge oak tree. Now it's a bush and it's flowering and it smells delicious. And I just think about that. I can't walk over there and smell the fragrance. And I know they smell like I would enjoy it, the heck out of it. And it's, it's hard, man. I guess I never really took for granted how important, you know, the use of your limbs and being able to walk, you know, how much I just limit your ability and like I get a little bit ostracized every, having to learn everything again, having to, I mean, to learn just what I'm just able to do, like getting my straw, I finally figured out a way to find a big straw and get a drink without anyone's help and when it's warm enough, I go outside and I sit in a manual wheelchair. My grandmother needs help. That's basically my only caregiver right now. I pretty much have to wait till a friend can help me outside to get a shower, which isn't very often, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy when I get them. But if it's cold outside, it's a, it's a no-go. Our house was built in the 50s and it really doesn't allow for the type of lift I would need to be lowered into the shower. When I was 15, I was involved in a, I guess you could say an accident. It was a neighborhood beat down for some reason. A bunch of kids beat me in the head and left me there. And I, ever since then, I've had epilepsy real bad. My tongue is split in half from biting it. And that was just a couple of months ago. accident and ended up flipping and broke most of my back and all of my neck that has all been replaced my neck from L4 to L7 is what was replaced I ended up getting pneumonia in the hospital they had to put me in a coma for a month to get the pneumonia under control and by this time they had already done the neck surgery but they had to put off the back surgery for that month of getting my lungs cleared up from the infection. Throughout this whole ordeal, I was pretty much in a coma, incapacitated. After I left the hospital, I went to a nursing home in Beaumont. I ended up getting some pressure sores. I, I stayed in there for about six months. I was able to go to Tier. They helped me get a wheelchair. You have to remember, I've been laying in bed <laughs> pretty much for two years. My leg muscles, they're pretty much non-existent. I, I can't really speak about all the insurance, but it's, it's like they seem to want to price me out of the system or say things like, we can't keep covering that medication, a medication that costs $1,200 a month. So I just have to not take it. My private insurance completely declined to pay for things like outpatient rehabilitation. They totally declined to pay for my expensive medication. I got some surgeries I got coming up. I get Botox shots in my arms and my legs, but I'm six months overdue from fighting with the insurance. I do get disability, but it's like 900 and ten dollars a month and my insurance was close to 500 so I've been on disability for about seven months but you have to be on it for 18 months before you are eligible for Medicare but I had to wait two years to be eligible for Social Security benefits then I got to wait another 18 months so I can get full-fledged health coverage. And the health coverage I'm paying for now, it leaves me with basically no money. Like I have doctor visits I have to go to in Houston that I have to, I mean, I wouldn't say 
borrow for my money from my family, but ask, can you help me with money to get to my doctor appointment? It's just, it's very disheartening. I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to do about my health care. I have $900 a month. If, if they want it all, they, they can take it for health care, but... <sighs>